Hey guys, it's Amari here bringing you the next part in our series on how do you trick your brain to eat less food. And I want to thank everybody for the great feedback on this series. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this as much as I am doing the research and looking into all the studies and bringing you some of these things that can help us automate the diet. And I'm learning a lot as well throughout the process. And the more I actually do research, the more things I find that can be helpful. And in this part, I wanted to look at social interactions. I wanted to find if there's any effects of how behaviors of our friends influence how much we eat or the behaviors of people around us in general. Can the environment uh, that we eat in have an effect on how much food we eat? And one great study that I found from 2015, from December, looked at what are the effects of the uh, BMI of the waiter that is serving you in the restaurant on how much you eat. And Brian Wansing and their group, they looked at about 500 different interactions over the course of 60 different restaurants. And what they found is that if the waiter's BMI was higher than 25, so if the waiter was a little bit overweight, people were four times more likely to order dessert. And not only that, about 17% more of alcohol was ordered in these scenarios. So literally, the waiter's BMI determined how much these people would order. And it doesn't really make sense unless at, at first, but when you think about it a little bit, is that the environment was actually causing a different social norm to happen. Like, so the thing that was normal now is just to eat a little bit more, right? People were just given permission to order a little bit more food. When they looked around them, okay, the waiter's a little bit overweight, you know, people are eating a lot of food, why not? You know, let's order more food. And it kind of makes sense, you know, if you're not aware of this, you're probably at the effect of the environment. And instead of that, I mean, if you don't want to let your environment dictate your calorie intake, you want to be at the cause in your environment. You want to be the person who is setting the norm instead of falling into a norm, trying to ping at the environment to give you permission to eat more food, which is almost something we fall into. I know I personally, I mean, I like, I mean, if I catch myself off guard, sometimes I'm looking around, okay, what are people eating? How much they're eating? And this can definitely make a huge impact on, on the amount of food you consume, especially in an environment where you don't track your calories. And one great study on this, I mean, I said it or mentioned a couple of times in the uh, New England Journal of Medicine is that they looked at about 12,000 people. And if your friends are obese, you have about 60% higher chance of being obese yourself. Right? So the behaviors and the patterns our friends fall into can become our own patterns. And we often get trapped into this um, norm that our society just puts on us. And sometimes that can really make a huge difference, especially in these studies where, I mean, just by going into a restaurant where the waiter is a little bit overweight, you're more likely to order more dessert. If you're not aware of this, I mean, it probably happens a lot. And it's kind of funny that uh, back, I, I remember one scandal that uh, actually when Hooters was involved, they fired a couple of waiters for being overweight. I mean, they probably didn't know about this study, so they fired people who were bringing in more business. And it's kind of interesting, right? So the point is become aware of these things. Become aware that your environment can actually have a huge influence on you. So when you're aware of this thing, you can actually be at the cause instead of being at the effect, you can be more grounded. You can be the type of person who's setting the norm with eating healthier food, making healthier choices so your friends can see that and then they're at the effect because most people aren't really aware of this. I mean, you're watching this video, you're the 1%. You're the exception. You know, most people don't really care. Most people don't have uh, awareness at that level where they really want to figure out their diet. They don't want to figure out their nutrition. They don't really care so much. So it's kind of your job. You know, it's a little bit of your responsibility when you know this information to use it in the right way and to really make the world a little bit of a better place. As much as cliche it sounds, we actually have the power to do that. And this is a one goal of this channel as well, to empower you and to give you the knowledge that you can actually pass on to people and make this world a little bit healthier place than it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below how you resonate with this. How do you find this concept? Is this interesting for you? Do you think you're at the effect sometimes of the environment? I know I am, I admit that. So let me know in the comments below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.